please, please do not file your amended return right now. Please wait for the IRS guidance. In this video, we're going to go over the three main reasons why you should wait to file your amended return. I know a lot of you need the money and you're rushing. You filed your return already and you want the exemption for the $10,200 for unemployment, but do not file the amended return now. But let's do some housekeeping. Housekeeping. This is educational. This is not legal advice. Speak to your own tax advisor with questions that you have for your own particular tax account. All right, so the housekeeping is done. I know you're saying, why? Why should I listen to you? Why should I wait? So there are three main reasons why you should wait. One, the IRS is literally telling all the tax pros, do not file right now. They're going to every single organization and saying, do not file. Two, the IRS may change it for you, saving you not only money, but time. You don't have to reach out to me or your own accountant or tax professional to make the change, the change for you because they'll may, they may do it for you. And then three, the form is not even out yet. It's like you're hiding under a glass table. It makes no sense to try to file something that's not even there. So let's go over those three points. So first, the IRS is telling us tax pros, do not file. If you're part of different organizations like we are, we're part of the NAEA, the National Society of Accountants, the NA, and National Science, the National Society of Tax Preparers, the um, National, the AICPA, the National Accountants Taxpayers, National Accountants of Ta National Associations of Tax Professionals, NABA. There's so many organizations we're part of here at Taxco that even I'm slipping over all the words because there's all these national organizations, but they're telling every single one of them to wait. If you look at it, boom, we're getting emails from the NATPA, but you have to read the wording because the wording is the same throughout all of the emails that we're getting. And it says the IRS strongly urges taxpayers not to file amended returns related to the new legislation provisions or take any unnecessary steps at this time. You know what that means? Unnecessary steps? It means don't be stupid, Carlos. Don't tell your clients to file amended returns right now, Carlos. Please be a tax professional. Please hold the line while we get you some guidance. And they did it again when they sent it to the National Asso Associations of um, Accountants. One more time, look at the wording. The IRS strongly urges taxpayers to not file amended returns related to the new legislation provisions or take any other unnecessary steps at this time. This is the same exact email we're getting from everywhere. The AICPA, the NAEA, all those organizations that we're a part of, we're getting the same exact email. So the IRS is going out there and telling the tax pros, do not file an amended return. Do not take unnecessary steps to file a return. And I'm going to tell you about some unnecessary steps when we go down. So number two, the IRS may make the change for you. You may not have to even speak to your tax advisor if you filed the return already. The IRS may make that change for you. So the IRS has a program called the Math Error Program. And what it does, it runs an algorithm to just see if you're, we're wrong. You're saying two plus two is five, but we know it's four. So we're going to hold your refund and see what's going on. Now, the thing about the math error program, it mixes a lot of different algorithms and codes into one. It has the, the process and program management code, which is called the PPM inside the IRS computer. It has the account management code, which is called the AM inside the IRS computer. And it has most one of the heaviest code, which is the wage and investment code called the WI. All these mixed together inside the math error code. And it's the math error code. If you're a tax professional, you know if you receive a math error notice, the math error code algorithm is badass. It is one of the most strongest algorithms that they have. And what the IRS is saying is that they're thinking about writing a source code inside of that code to just find if you have more than 10,200 if you're a single or if you have more than 10,200 each per taxpayer spouse if you're married, and they're gonna go into the matrix and they're gonna pluck out that code and they're gonna put in new source code to get it. That's the talks right now with the IRS. This is what they're thinking about doing to save a lot of stress to the taxpayers. So that's number two. Number three, 
the form is not even out yet. You can't even amend the return because the form is not even out yet. Now, if you go back to what the IRS is saying, do not take unnecessary steps, what the IRS is realizing, they're already getting mail of people scratching out 2019 and writing 2020, or they're putting 2020 on the back. The form is not even out yet. They have not even made the form for the amended return for 2020. And that's what they're calling unnecessary steps. So if you look at the IRS website, so let's, let's go to it. So we're on the IRS website. So you type in irs.gov forms. I'll put the link down there. It's about the 1040X. And they're letting you know, hey, one thing that we are going to do, we are going to allow you to file the amended return electronically. It's something that's new that's come out, came out last year in a pilot program, and they're going to push it out through this year. And if you look at the current version of the amended return, they're letting you know, hey, listen, this form is a structured publication. Please review. It only has 2019, 18, 17, and 16. 2020 is not out yet. So you can't even amend. You're walking into a wall. Do not try to amend your return until more guidance comes out from the IRS. And the guidance will come out, guys. It will be here. You just have to wait. I know you're asking the questions, can I do it? Can I do it? But you're just going to have to wait. Thank you for listening to this video. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. This is Carlos Fraser coming from Tactical Tips, and have a great day. Do, do, do.